This video is brought to you by Hoodbeast.com. Design your own custom hoodies. Hoodbeast.com. Yo, what up, it's Don. Sammy Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers. How you guys doing? Um, your boy Sammy Duncop, the Ultra Boost, my Adidas. Oh, uh, wow. I wonder how many people ha uh, have a pair of uh, my Adidas Ultra Boost. I don't know. Multicoloring. Multicolor, of course. Shout out to Lucas Chang. Mm. Follow him on IG at lucas.cyc, I believe. Uh, I think that's what it was. Um, but he sent me the code. You actually needed a code to buy this on adidas.com. And then you had to, um, okay, so you, you, uh, what do you, call, you customize it. Yeah. And then you had to get a code. And then it's 220 bucks. D -d -d Damn. Plus uh, tax, which is basically like almost 250 bucks. Which is ridiculously expensive mm -hmm. for a shoe. But um, yeah, you know, I, I wanted to get a pair and see how it was, and it's not really anything different from your regular Ultra Boost. Really. Yeah, I aside mean, from the from the multicolor, obviously. Yes, but uh, even that, I mean, like Nike ID has the, has an option of you know you, you can put like your name and like yeah. a number or whatever, and it's embroidered inside the tongue. Um, Under Armour has the option of you know you can put whatever design picture you want, which is crazy customizable. Adidas, you had two color options for the upper, black and white. You had like eight color options for this little thing. You can't even change the multicoloring, so it's always multicolor, whatever, uh, for whatever um, upper color you choose. The cage, mm. you can't, I don't think you could change, or maybe you could, but I think it was like two colors, black uh, black and white. Mm -hmm. Boost, you couldn't change the color, and uh, the outsole, there was three colors, I believe. It was black, white, and red, or something like that. And uh, the laces, there was like eight colors. So. Um, so it came with extra laces. When money, you get value, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Extra laces, damn. But I'm, I'm not even gonna use those. I just put the black laces on, which looks way better, in my opinion. But um, the knit pattern is different from the 2.0 and the 3.0, obviously. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, or maybe no. Oh, wow, I didn't even notice that. What? So uh, the knit pattern is exactly the same as the 2.0. Mm. Can you see that? Yeah, I do. So, um, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, so uh, I thought it was gonna be like a new pattern or whatever, but it's the exact same pattern as the 2.0, not even the 3.0. Mm -hmm. And of course, the 4.0 is coming out, but uh, they're basically all the same. It's just like a different um, knit pattern. But, um, and of course, you do have like a uh, the insole is like has like the multicolor kind of things, uh, uh, pattern or whatever. Yeah. Um, but that's about it. Uh, another thing is uh, it does run pretty tight, pretty small. Um, so in all my other Ultra Boosts, I'm a size 7. And there's a little bit of toe room, just a little bit. But this one is actually pretty tight. Mm. I don't know if it's just because it's the My Adidas or anything. But it does run a little tighter and a little uh, shorter than just your regular Ultra Boost. So mm -hmm. just telling you guys what um, I felt from the fit. But uh, other than that, that's it. Uh, nothing yeah, really are, special, right? These are pretty dope. I mean, are you gonna black out the boost? Fuck no. <laughs> Why not? You want me to? And black out the multicolor multi also. Oh my god. You can just get a sharpie. What's the point? Of, what's the point of getting multicolor <laughs> then? No, it would look. It would look dope with black boost though. You think so? Yeah. I don't know, man. Oh, maybe I'll do a render and see how it yeah. looks. And if I like it, I yeah. will black out the boost. But I do like my black and white. Design, yeah, it's it's very nice, very clean, um, yet very expensive. 250 bucks for this piece of cloth and like rubber, you know? My Adidas is gotta be the worst customized uh, option for the major companies. Yeah, I mean like other shoes though, like the D-Roads, they are pretty highly customizable. But yeah, just, but still not as good as Nike. I guess, but like- And then the, Under Armour just went nuts. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. But then the Ultra Boost, this one it was just like, there was really like no options. Mm -hmm. It's very limited too, and you needed a code to get it, so. Obviously, shout out to Lucas. But anyways, that's it. Uh, just wanted to share my Adidas, my Adidas um, Ultra Boost design. Uh, tell me what you guys think of it, because this was basically like one of the only uh, styles that you could do. Yeah. But um, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next one. Later. Peace.